You're destroying everything, and for what? So you could swap spit with some stupid girl? Elle's not stupid. It's not my fault you don't like girls. That was the season three scene in Stranger Things that had viewers wondering if Will was gay. Now, back in 2019, Noah Schnapp said he doesn't think it's that clear cut, telling the rap, it's really up to the audience to interpret it. I kind of just interpret it like he's not ready to grow up and he doesn't really want to move on to dating and relationships yet. He still wants to be a kid and play in the basement like he did in old times. I mean, what did you think, really? That we were never going to get girlfriends? That we are just going to sit in my basement all day and play games for the rest of our lives? Yeah. I guess I did. I really did. Finn Wolfhard, who plays Mike, backed that up in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in 2019, saying, There were a lot of different versions of that scene. We tried, it's not my fault you don't like girls yet. I don't even know if it had to do with Will's sexuality. I think Mike was just mad. It's all up to the Duffers and what they want to do. Well, the Duffers didn't go with the yet version of that scene. And flash forward three years, now we have this new scene in season four. Sometimes I think it's just scary to open up like that, to say how you really feel, especially to people you care about the most. In a quiet moment between the two characters in episode five, Will identifies with the struggle to express one's feelings. What if, what if they don't like the truth? Many viewers believe this is, once again, acknowledging Will's sexuality. And Noah Schnapp did acknowledge in an interview with Stranger Things Brazil that this season Will is dealing with some inner conflict. See him kind of facing a new struggle. This isn't the supernatural kind of Demogorgon that he's used to facing, but this is just his personal inner identity crisis that he's facing. But he told Variety that it's unnecessary to label Will as gay, saying, I feel like they never really address it or blatantly say how Will is. I think that's the beauty of it, that it's just up to the audience's interpretation. If it's Will kind of just refusing to grow up and growing up slower than his friends, or if he really is gay. I find that people do reach to put a label on him and just want to know so badly like, oh, and this is it. He's just confused in growing up, and that's what it is to be a kid. His co-star, Millie Bobby Brown, agrees. It's 2022 and we don't have to label things. I think what's really nice about Will's character is that he's just a human being going through his own personal demons and issues. So many kids out there don't know, and that's okay. That's okay to not know, and that's okay not to label things. Well, someone should tell that to the rest of the cast. If you've been watching the show, you should know that Will is not interested in L. <laughs> He's interested in someone else in the group. As Finn, David Arbor, Winona Ryder, and Caleb McLaughlin answered fan theories for Netflix, Finn and David giggled when teasing Will's romantic intentions. You'll see soon that he's interested in... He's very interested. Yeah. Finn also told Digital Spy, I think you find out slowly through the season, Will's kind of love towards Mike, and I think it's a really beautiful thing. I know some people will say, oh, it's that gay agenda again, gotta make a character gay. Well, we already had Robin come out in season three. Tammy Thompson. I wanted her to look at me. Tammy Thompson's a girl. Oh. Oh. There's give or take about 15 young adult characters on Stranger Things. So beyond Robin, sorry to tell you, odds are, another one of those kids would be gay. Noah and the Duffer brothers know what the speculation was out of that season three scene. And then they have this new scene between Will and Mike. And then there's also this moment in the season premiere. He made the best egos, and he liked to watch Miami Vice on Fridays. So from a narrative sense, they are obviously planting these moments, these seeds to lead to Will coming out in some kind of regard. Now, that being said, I do agree with what Noah and Millie said, that we don't have to label Will. Like, reality is, Will is supposed to be 15 years old in season four. Now, I get in 2022, kids are way more comfortable at an earlier age coming out of the closet because there's way more representation and society's just more comfortable in accepting that, even though there's a long way to go. Um, when I was that age at 15, that would be like the late 90s, I didn't recognize myself as being gay. I was still fighting that uh, myself, still several years down the line and I acknowledge that. Will is ten, at least 10 years behind me. So he's not gonna be jumping out of the closet in any kind of way. So I think, yeah, viewers need to recognize that. Will is not living in 2022, Will is living in 1986. So yeah, he's not gonna be comfortable 
accepting his sexuality in any kind of way anytime soon. So while Will deals with his sexuality, I think the cast needs to get on the same page. It's very true to life that Noah is very careful in talking about Will's sexuality, being very respectful towards it. And then you have the other cast members giggling behind his back and saying, he, 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 Will's gay. So yeah, it's very true to life and I think it's very inappropriate. I think the cast actually needs to shut up when asked about that topic. And actually in that interview, David wasn't asked about Will's sexuality. He volunteered that information himself. But when the possibility of addressing that topic comes up, I think the other cast members need to say, it is not my place to talk about Will's sexuality. Noah or the Duffer brothers might be comfortable talking about it, you can ask them, but yeah, I'm not gonna speculate on someone's sexuality, fictional or not. I think that's what needs to be their answer. It feels really gross to me to have other cast members talking about Will's sexuality. I know he's fictional, but still, the message that's putting out there, David giggling about his sexuality when Noah's not acknowledging it at this point, I think it's really inappropriate. So, I've said a lot. <laughs> I know there's a lot. But yeah, I wanna hear your thoughts on these moments of Will that seem to be dealing with his sexuality.